All right, let's go over the uh, let's go to the system real quick. We'll go into today's what we're looking for. We'll go yesterday morning. So yesterday we had a beautiful trading day all the way. Look at the running ATR. Let's take a look what we want to look for on capturing these moves. So the whole idea behind the ATR, the yellow dots at print automatically for you is that you will have an indicator and a strategy to um, to you can either run the indicator by itself or the strategy by itself it's totally up to you uh, or run them together or separately but the indicator um, it works on all markets this is a running ATR if price is above the ATR we are bullish if price is below the ATR the yellow line we are bearish so the key for the ATR is watching the stair step ups and stair step downs, higher lows and lower highs. When you start stair stepping up like this, you are in a trend market. Stair step up, stair step up, stair step up. So as you can see, the more the as you set higher lows, the harder the trend becomes. The more higher lows you have, the harder the trend becomes. So what we want to try to do is the speed bars are green. Green speed bars indicate a volume push in the market, and we look for the next retracement. Um, the red bars indicate wrongly positioned traders, and as long as you are inside of the ATR, that is a major long right here. And the best time to look for what's called WPTs, WPT trades, the best time we want to look for them is we want to look for them when the market is in a hard move up or hard move down. You can also look for them in flat markets trying to catch tops and bottoms, but you want to look for those in a hard move up or hard move down. I mean, that's that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to capture the WPT trades, which are signal for the wrongly positioned trader. Um, we're trying to catch a wrongly positioned trader selling their order flow to us, and we're trying to get that continuation. So there's two setups you look for. Um, you look for one, first you let the ATR start running and setting higher lows and lower highs. Setting higher lows or lower highs for shorts. That's the first thing. If you don't have a running ATR, if you're not stair stepping up or stair stepping down, the market's typically flat. And if you're flat, you really don't want to participate in the markets anyway because you want to try to avoid chop. Remember, the markets can only do two things. I preach about this over and over. They can only go sideways and vertical. So if we want to get into the vertical markets. So if we're going to try to get in the vertical markets. We need speed bars to start printing. These are these green boxes for buys or red speed bars for sells. So the whole... Um, basis of the of the methodology is trying to get into speed retracements so once the first dot starts printing down here you really want to start looking for a move now I highlighted this when this happened live yesterday right when that move started look for the first retracement that started the move in the ATR right there and I got some members that actually bought that first retracement that emailed me congratulations they got right there on that first retracement, that deep retracement down here. So that started this big move up. All right. So what you want to try to do is I do have these arrows that fire off that try to get you in high probability retracements on the way up. The best ones are like this. I have my symmetry dot setting higher lows also, the ATR setting higher lows. But when you have confluence like this, when price lands on top of the ATR, it stopped almost right to the tick on the ATR. So you had a real small stop because your entry was right on the ATR. There's your um, symmetry dots. If you close outside the ATR, you have a very small stop. But look at that move up. All right, then we get a WPT trade, a wrongly positioned trader trade, which is an opposite color candle that came in right on the ATR. Once again, I believe it stopped right to the tick on the ATR. Another one is right exactly on it. And that's a very small stop again. Then we continue again. Then we get another WPT, rolling position trader trade, opposite color trend box. That's saying they're trying to sell the position, trying to roll it over, catching the rolling position traders. 
So the WPTs, you were two for two yesterday morning all the way up to 1030 on the WPTs, and you had several retracement entries, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, all the way up into when the ATR started rolling over. So what you want to try to do is we want to try to use this ATR as not only as a guideline for speed markets, we want to use it for a stop, um, uh, a stop level after we get into entry on a WPT or a retracement trade. So they got to start uh, running. So you look for two setups. You look for a retracement trade, which are those arrows, or full retracement below indicator, retracement trades. And then thirdly are the opposite color speed bars against trend. That tells you we're catching the rolling position traders short. And those will usually pop really good. And these WPTs over here, these red bars, let me, I'll blow it up a little for you here in a second. Um, you want to see them land right on the ATR because you want small stops on that. You want to see them land right on the ATR. The best are a trend because it's like a rubber band effect. They like to come down and bounce right off of them. I mean, how many trades have we seen? We see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of WPTs that just bounce right off that ATR. So, and the best ones are with trend, hard trend movement. You can take them in and chop if you're an HV and LVA, um, but you got to make sure that um, they're on right on HV and LVA. But so that's your, that's basically what we want to try to do. We want to try to get the ATR running and stair stepping up. Like right now, the condition in the market right now, S&P right now, it's flat. There's no trades. This is a flat ATR, right? So as we look at right now, which I'll go over in a second, I'll show you today's condition. We want to wait, and I said yesterday, we will wait till we get into a running ATR. <clears throat> so we want to see a stair step up and stair step down. The more higher lows you get, the better off you are. The more speed bars you, you get, the better off you are. You want to get close to ATR as possible. So these are really nice trades. They're right on the ATR and they're right on confluence. They're right on my retracement arrow. They're right on my WPTs. If you get away from them, you take a little more risk. So if I see an arrow print that's right here, you're taking a little more risk because your ATR is more, a little, your price is away from the ATR more and the SIM dots. So you want to have a little patience and try to get near. Here's another really nice one right near the ATR. You want to try to get near the ATR as much as possible. These are low. These are high probability, low risk trades because you're right on the ATR and hard trend up, stair stepping up, stair stepping down. So if I blow this up, the reason I like WPT so much, and we take a look at them, let's look at the microscope here a little bit better. So you can see I, I, I push right into the first one on this retracement. It never closed. It can break intra bar. The whole high and low of the candle can break intra bar. You just don't want a body candle close below the ATR. If it does it, then you have to make sure that you exit the trades. So a lot of traders, what they're doing is they're putting limit orders in. What they'll do is, is they will look at the ATR at this level, and let's say it's at 44.29, and as price comes down to it, they see the WPT print, they'll put an order in right at 44.29 and a quarter, 44.29, 44.28 uh, and three quarters. So they'll put the limit order in knowing they got a real small stop. As long as it doesn't close below that, if it does close below it, you exit with a very, very small stop. If not, you get this little, you get this nice bounce continuation. And here's another one. You come down to the WPT, you put your, you can put your limit order in, because if you don't put your limit order in, you're gonna have to wait for a. What the strategy does, it does not put limit orders in. Which I'm thinking about adding to the strategy of putting limit orders on the ATR, but it waits for a pull-in bar or what's called a reversal delta to get you in. So if you come down to the WPT, your delta entry will wait for a positive market delta. It'll enter the next bar. So you're looking at a probably a 44.37 uh, and a half fill. But if you fill right here at the ATR right on it, you're looking at a 36 at 35 and three quarter fill. You know, so you can, uh, I like the limits myself. That's what I like to do um, on looking at this. I may uh, add a filter on a strategy so it does limit orders on the ATR with an X amount of ticks with the also with the pull-in bar. You, I'm, I think I'm going to give you guys an option of which one you want to do. Right now the strategy works well with the, just a pull-in bar.
confirmation delta, but you're getting an extra point, so a point and a half, because when we come down on these Rinko bars and it touches the ATR, it bounces before the pulling bar even comes up, almost six ticks. So you're getting a six tick fill, you're getting a point and a half, a point and a half already before the pulling bar comes in for confirmation. So something that you can do also, I got a lot of traders that are inside and outside this room that put limit orders in right at the ATR, especially if we're running hard. If we're running hard, these are great spots. You come down to ATR, SIM dots, great to stop, spots to start staggering orders. Two contracts right on it, two contracts a quarter away, two contracts a quarter above it, you know, depending how many contracts you do. You can stagger your entries. As long as you don't close below the ATR, you're entering yourself in a high reward uh, to risk trade. These are high reward to risk trades on these ATRs. 